Hello, I'm Scott of Scott's Computer Repair. I'm here to show you to do a factory set on a Gateway Desktop DX4860. This might work for more of the DX series or other Gateway systems. Okay, I'm just um, go ahead and turn the computer on. As soon as the Gateway symbol comes up, go ahead and tap F8 and hold it. Like so, tapping it. And I'll say, please wait. If that don't show up, should we try it again? Okay. All right. <clears throat> Basically, we want to go to C Advanced Repair Options. I'm going to go to Troubleshoot. Then you want to go to reset your PC. I recommend you back up your files like pictures and documents or anything that's important to you because this will wipe you all the file information and everything else. Put it on a flash drive you can access it. When this pops up, go ahead and just go ahead and hit next. I want to do a full re full clean of the drive. So as I said, it's going to wipe all the files. And go ahead and hit reset. And there you go, starting to reset the computer now. Yeah, you want to leave this default, or if you want to change your language, go ahead. But, all right. Okay, go and click next. Accept the license agreement. Accept. If you do have an email, go ahead and put it in. If not, go ahead and skip. Choose whatever color, PC name. I'll call this the gateway. Click next. Choose your network. Wireless network. If you have the Wi-Fi card in it. Put your key in, of course. And then connect. Go ahead and use Express Settings. Okay, if you don't want to sign up with a Microsoft account, this will have a, you're not able to skip. So, or, wait, or sign in without a Microsoft account, click that. Click local account. Of course, I'm going to call it the customer's name, call it owner. Okay, that's how you restore a Gateway DX4860, the DX series. And you're all set pretty much from this point forward. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Any questions, just leave a comment below. Have a nice day.